Hello and welcome to the first tutorial in a series of tutorials on how to use the HPL2 level editor. And HPL2 is the engine behind Amnesia the Dark Descent. Um, okay, so the level editor consists of several parts. Um, if we look at the center here, the middle, um, these four panels are called viewports and uh, we're gonna focus mostly on the perspective viewport, um, which is basically, you know, a window to the game world. So this is where you build, um, and you know, <coughs> since we're gonna just focus on the perspective view, um, let's enlarge that. So make sure that it has a red border by just simply hovering, hovering your mouse above it and then go down here and click enlarge current viewport okay <coughs> so the first thing to to learn is the camera control um, and to move the camera you hold down left alt and then you hold down the left mouse button and you can orbit the camera and ins if you instead of holding left mouse button you hold down right mouse button, right mouse button while still holding alt can zoom in and out and the same still holding out but the middle mouse button or the mouse wheel button you can move the camera around um, and if you turn off the little button down here called LT you can move the camera up and down using the um, mouse wheel button but we're just gonna keep the, um, the uh, LT button on Okay, so on the left you see a variety of tools. Um, and the first one is called Select, which is for um, selecting objects and moving them around, etc. Um, two, the lights, is for placing different light sources like. Um, you know, box light, point light, and spotlight. It's not for you know, placing candles. Uh, that's another tool. Then there's billboards, which is um, um, stuff like you know shines that come through a window, and um, particle systems. Um, particle systems is uh, you know particles like when you in the game when you see a door blown open and you see kind of you know leaves and stuff you know coming through the door that's particles um or even you know windows you see some dust um so that's the particle systems then there's sounds um which is um so you know you can have ambient sound playing at different locations so like when you enter um a room with a machine you hear you know machine sounds etc. Then the static objects um, which is stuff like walls um, yeah walls and doorways um, door frames um, all, this, all the stuff that doesn't move and entities it's all the stuff like you know, furniture and items like keys and stuff like that um, pictures all the things you can place and interact with um, yeah and then there's areas which is um, has a lot of different types um, but uh, um, this is mainly used for triggers and start points and path nodes etc um, primitives currently only have the type plane which is used for um, floors and ceilings, stuff like that. Um, then there's decals, which is um, uh, like uh, if you have um, blood splatter on a wall or, you know, bullet holes if this game had bullets and guns. Um, fog areas, I'm not sure, I haven't used the last two um, tools yet, but uh, I'll probably learn those before the end of the series of the tutorial, um, but if I would have to guess, it simply defines an area where the fuck, 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 
the fog can be. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. As you can define that uh, crash. <coughs> Good thing we hadn't started building anything. <coughs> so, okay, let's just leave the, those last tools for now because, um, yeah. Actually, let me just finish this tutorial now and leave it as a, an introduction. Uh, mm, and then I'm going to continue explaining the tools in the um, next tutorial.